आशिषो नित्यत्वात् टेंथ सूत्र ऑफ फोर्थ चैप्टर Karma is based on purpose. The purpose is the cause of movement of the mind or the samskaras, starting from samskaras. So now, according to the purpose, the actions are different that we know the purpose is important there. So this purpose makes the thoughts and then the body act with that. And once the purpose is completed, the action completes. The thought connected to that action completed. So unless we do not complete the action or the purpose is not completed, it goes on because the suggestion given it should be completed otherwise the reaction already started with the thought will be in half the way and then the in completion of that thought is not connected to the system. So it works with a, a perfect sequence and then it ends with the result. So based on this theory, if you Analyze your own thoughts that you can understand the thought is a process which is making all the actions. 
So here, the Ashisho Nityatvat, Ashish means the wish, the will to leave forever. So this ever leaving is the purpose here, that is the aim. Each of our actions are connected to this purpose. So unless this purpose is not completed, it cannot stop. That is why this is eternal. So that is the reason he says Nityatvat. Always it is there. And when we connect the same theory with the samskaras, the deposit of impressions, So there also the same thing is feeded. The information is the same. So this way the thought process connects to the action. It means this thought process has no beginning and no end as per the death and birth is concerned. Because death and birth is just a byproduct of this thought process. One body is created and it stays for a particular span of time, then it, its own changes take it back. So this is death. Now when we identify ourselves with this body, our experience is we are human beings. So this experience is actually a misunderstanding. If you just uh, rethink over it, so how this can be possible? If we want to live forever, how can it be possible with this body? And obviously, we know that this with this body you cannot live for ever. This body is ever changing and it is going to die. It completes its process. Now, if that is the case, when we identify with the ourself and when we think about ourselves, we think with this body connection. Because our thinking patterns are based on this body-mind connection that is happening in conscious mind. And conscious mind only knows what is happening with this body and mind outside elements. So it can only connect this much. And with conscious mind, when we try to understand the previous life or future life, it makes impossible for us. It is impossible. So here, we must understand what is happening behind the body and mind. 
the underpinned changes of the body and mind when we go to that level it is clear that we have this ambition to live forever and we have no experience of our own absence and uh, that that is the non experience of absence is what makes us to think that we want to live forever this is with our nature it is completely inherent or can say it is unchangeable with our own nature so this feeling is making this concept otherwise whoever thinks normally he can understand that this body is changing it body cannot remain forever then what sense he thinks i want to live forever so it is senseless, senseless. even learned people think like that everybody has this thought in their mind so here sutra is taking that point into consideration and analyzing that patanjali giving the previous connection and future connection it's all it's a chain of changes the sequentially you are changing it you are shifting one body to another body but you are still there so this is the fundamental thought behind this sutra so now when we think about birth yesterday we were thinking about birth so this birth is our uh, life what we think as life so this birth if it this birth is life then we have decided from where the life starts where the existence of life where we feel that this is the starting of life so we can take many points for examination so yesterday we were talking about the sex cells the two sex cells joined together in the process of sexual reproduction so that we consider as the birth biologically that is we can say that is the birth or that is the uh, first uh, the subtlest form of body here we have to remember now we are talking about the body physical body so that cells the, those cells joined to, together was not before now it is produced but those two different cells were in different bodies the mother's body and father's body male sex cell and female sex cell now we have to examine if we think that that joined joined cell is our birth that is not true because again that is joined joined means two were separate and now it joined so two were separate means they were the cells were there as an entity 
So we have to take our bath uh, little uh, beyond that. So it means we were there in two different bodies as two different cells. If we can accept that, then this birth of body is just a manifestation which is developed in the womb of mother and coming out. And when we take these two cells, they are, they are there in two different bodies. And now, how these cells are made? Because now we identify ourselves with cells from there, how these cells are made? So that we have to think. You know, in the cells, each cell is content with genes. In each cell, there are more than 20,000 genes. And genes means that it is, genes are store, they, they store the molecules called DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. So this acid is carrying the information. That is why the genes are called genes. Genes means they carry information. And now, these genes which are there in these cells, they play a role to make the body and change the body and protect the body. So they, they are the main source of, or main uh, power of all the changes in the body that we know. Now, how these cells get the nutrition, how they are formed? They are formed with nutrition from food and from some signals, informations from outside environment. So now, here there are two parts. The cells are made of nutrition that we can say with the connection of food and they are changing not because of food but changes takes place when they get some information from environment outside the body. So it means they are changing themselves according to the environment. And then to make more cells to maintain the body There is a process and with that they make proteins, the molecules called proteins. We know about these proteins. And proteins make body tissues. Now, before making proteins and body tissues, these cells work as nano antennas, they get information from outside. According to the atmosphere, the cells are changed. 
that is why where we live our physical body will be connected with the atmosphere there with the water and food and the air everything is making uh, everything is making some response to the body and body is responding to the elements this is because of this communication and this is there in biology and botany in all department of this science they talk about this the environment has some communication with the uh, entities there with the living beings or non living beings plants and everywhere everything now the proteins are made so proteins make the tissues and the body is maintained and here it is connected to these cells they have two forms how they take environmental signals this is very important this point the two system is there that we call it as receptors proteins receptors proteins receptive receptor proteins the receptor proteins work in two way one part is connected to outside environment and some of the receptor proteins are working within the body so they analyze the changes in the body and accordingly they make new cells the information is fed information uh, uh, takes from uh, the body itself and changes that is internal changes you can say internal receptivity and some of the receptor proteins work with outside environment and they give some information now you have to change now this season is going to change so now it is hot so we have to adjust the body yeah, so they give information and the cells and body everything is adjusted they take different uh, they make different uh, proteins you know in our body one lakh different type of proteins are there is all the actions are connected to these proteins so we know some of the proteins but everything is connected to this so accordingly they make each season they change it with the environmental connection now in all this process there is outside vibration and inside vibration is communicating because when we say these cells are working like nano antennas it means they are getting some vibrations and they are producing some vibrations with this making energy the production of energy is forming some electromagnetic field there so that is activated with this outside signals and the second type of proteins generally we call effector proteins effector proteins the after the receptor proteins get the uh, information the effector proteins are reacting on that so they make new no reactions or according to the reception what they got the info how they got the information they effect on that that they make some effect so it is means the effector proteins are make building the body we can say that so in this receptor proteins now they are connected to cells we understood that they have the connection with the environmental signals and the vibrations not only 
this vibration what we say generally they take vibration from sunlight and sound and the wind no when the air vibrations and from earth they take some vibrations from earth from all the elements the vibrations are connected to this so now you just connect yourself now where are you here no eh in the cell okay now we went from that cell how the cells are made so this is connected to body our point is we have to take something from this and go to the birth scenario so now the cells are making the body now we know that and cells are made such way in such and such way this information they get from outside is playing a big role in all the activities of body including this reproduction because the re reproduction is one of the essential uh, program or uh, essential need of the physical body and first we talk little more about this thing then you will be clear when i we enter to next point so here what happens before reproduction these cells are aware about the environment and the food available and everything okay for so, so many years the parents are living in a particular place so these cells of the parents are well informed about the environment and the changes happening where they are living now this sex, sex cells uh they are the cause of reproduction so they are they are also the production of the these proteins okay so the connection is there now they have this special information that these parents they are living in this environment so the next production should be something like this it is more what you say corresponding to the environment accordingly they change the cell and this reproduction happens so when the baby comes that baby can adjust with the environment there so maybe the parents were living in a hot place and after marriage they shifted to a cold place because of job or some other reason they shifted there and after one or two years they got the baby it means the baby is physical structure or the uh, metabolism is changed for the environment where the parents are living now that baby can adjust more than parents to the environment the cold and problems there this is proved by now the cell biology they prove it i will uh, give some names of the some of the books in the end when we conclude this with the rebirth and all these connections so here this change you see physically you see the change okay up to this point everything is clear now our point is beyond this so now we are talking about the environmental signals received by the cells by receptive proteins the receptive proteins means they they are they are working with all our sense organs 
the sense organs are made of these proteins. That is what they say. So now, these receptors are receiving outside signals of what type? It is a just vibration, we have to say vibration, they receive it. And that vibration outside, vibrations are made from magnetic fields. And this magnetic field is one and the same. Electromagnetism is the same. And this body is having the same particles which are connected to electromagnetism. It means there is a communication, there is a correlation with these bodily particles and outside particles. So now what is there in outside particles is slowly received by the bodily particles and vice versa also in the opposite way that it goes from here also. The vibrations are there. So the vibrations are made physically and specially by brain, by thought process. Now we understood the signal's receptivity is in two ways. One is connected to physical body and the second is connected to outside. So this physical body uh, signals or reactions are to maintain the physical body itself. It means it is connected to biological changes, physical changes. And the outside body or outside informations, they are giving the special information for cells for future changes. You understand this point? This new information, like I gave the example of newborn baby from parents. So the parents were living in a separate place, in a hot place. Then they shifted to a cold place. So now the baby is adjusted with the cold there, even though the parents are unable to adjust in that level. It means the newly got information are meant for, mostly meant for the future changes. And it takes time to change. They are also adjust with, but it takes more time. So here, in our uh, concept of, the Sankhya's concept of karma, they say the mind is Omni-objective. The mind is everywhere. We have seen the quantum uh, physics, but it says regarding this. The mind is omni-objective means it is everywhere. It means it is all-pervading. How? Because the, the energy made in the mind with this concept and the energy outside are correlated and communicating each other. And each cell of the body is communicating or responding with this thing. The body is responding to the mind and through the mind, the environment, this way it is responding to environment. Now, we were talking about the birth, it was in the cells and the cells were made from all these things. Now, where are we? We are not in the cells. Now, we are like in the form of 
informations. Even the DNA says that. The generations are one after another, the generations are made by this information feeded in DNA. And DNA is an acid form, which is just a something like a chemical, or I don't know, we can say it is chemical, but it is acid. The name itself says it is acid. It means it is physical. It is not anything connected to energy. But it gets the information and it is carrying the information generation after generation. So it is something amazing how it happens. And in the DNA, whatever changes happen, it is connected to cell. Now cells are giving new information and DNA is changed. This is the new biology says. Till now it was not there. They said the DNA cannot be changed. Now DNA can be changed. By this, it takes long time, but it changes its character. So it means, now we are in DNA, and the DNA is getting all the informations connected outside and inside, and this body is made out of those informations. Now in this, if you just contemplate on the energy field which is there in your body and energy field which is there outside. This is all phenomena is within this energy field. Whatever is happening is within this energy field. Because how it is? Because each cell is producing energy. And that is a nano field, small part, part. So when you take as whole, you have a energy field created there. And this energy field is not different from the outside energy field. This way, we say it is, in quantum it is a quanta, it's a part of quantum, if there is communication. So what is there in the quantum, is there in the quanta. They say qualia also, there is another word now they are using, because it is connected to this. Now in this, nothing is missing. So if, you, if the cells get, uh, cells are able to get the information from outside, then everything is possible. If they can change that way. Now, this way, this karma, or what we say as the potential deposit, what we say as, this is not there in this body. That potential, habitual potencies are there in this energy field. It should be there. Because after the death also, it can be there. It can stay there. Death is only a change. Like you change your body. If you change your food, or habits and things, you change your body. So, this field is the accumulation of karma that we call as prakriti. It goes to prakriti. It is connected to prakriti. So, now, these karmas, the informations, now we call it as informations, the potencies, habitual potencies or whatever, it has two different functions. One is, this information has the information about physical body, 
and this information has the information about the mind. Now we need two. In each body there is each uh, being there is a body and mind. You know, so body and mind are separate and body we say gross and mind is subtle for us. And that is in each information it is two are there and they are divided here. The gross elements or gross body related informations goes to the food or it goes to the physical body of the parents through fruit. There is another process. We are not just entering to that. Now first we clear it. The, 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 that is, they enter into the body of parents. Okay. There the functions are made like that. We say everything that information from where the, uh, no, the cells get the information. That is the information we are talking about. It is there everywhere. So that if you consider that, that is reflected there in the cells. So through cells, it enters the body of the parents. That is why parents, when they produce the uh, child, their DNA informations are connected. The, the DNA, what, what the, they carry the information. But the mind is not connected there. DNA is not, not making the mind of the child. DNA is only making the physical body of the child. Here we take a diversion from the biological, uh, no, their theory. So now what we think as a birth of a baby is according to this, one part of that DNA is making only the physical form of physical form is made because the physical form is connected to the physiology of the parents and that is why the parents their minds are different and the child is different and there is some relation what we see is because of DNA. What all DNA can do, that much is there with the baby. But the mind is totally different. The father may be a dull person, but the child can be an intelligent and vice versa also. Sometimes father is very intelligent and child is dull. It can happen. So this, this part, if you understand these two diversions. Now the second part is mind. How the mind is developed. So mind is developed in separate way. In uh, our Puranas, Bhagavada and everywhere we can see how God enter into the body of the Vasudeva, the father of Krishna. There the description is the Vishnu enters into the mind of Vasudeva first. That is what they, they say and that is correct. And then, after the reproduction, it happens. This changes into that level. The mind is changed into the person there. So the mind entering is another phenomenon. It is, we are unable to understand how it happens. Because that it is subtle, we have no trace to see how mind enters. So they say, the mind enters to the body of the child through the parent's mind, but they are unable to know that. That is one theory. The second theory says, 
when the body is formed we say as prana the prana enters with the knowledge because prana energy has two parts one is the action the material cause connected to material cause the other is connected to information it means intelligent so two parts are there because prana is carrying two cosmologically this is we call this uh, prana is hiranyagarbha the prana is having the kriya shakti the power for action and ichha shakti jnana shakti power for knowledge two are there so when this is connected to the body of the parents the two are connected but they don't know about the information part of that they only know about the physical part of that and they know means they don't know anything about that but the process is happening in their body so then this is produced so what is the point is here now each karma is divided into two part and one is one part of that is physical part of that that is making the physical body and the second part of that is making the mind regarding physical body or the process of making physical body we know from biology this is what is biology says and the mental part of that it is not not known by anybody it the, the parents does, uh, do not know and the child does not know nobody knows how it happens but it happens by this vibration theory which is connected to the quantum physics now up to this biological changes it was well known by, by the old physics but this part was not known by them because it was not the subject of that physics so now it changed so you can read the books i will give the name so new biology is a cell that changing in the cells they studied it well then they correctly they connect with this two and then how the mind is made and why the mind is separate from the parents is solved now now how this informations are there in the field of quantum hmm. or in the electromagnetism it is like waves of tv waves of radio is like radio waves and tv waves because in cell biology they say this nano cells uh, they have the nano antenna they can receive the information the uh, information from outside the vibrations of light a magnetic field of air changes and also some similar to radio waves they are not very clear about this they say something similar to low wave radio waves it can receive that is why the waves which we produce by magnetic fields are interacting with our brain even the mobile that we use they have some radiational effect with our brain and body it is affecting so here this mind works as here in the uh, the father's mind or mother's mind it works like antennas 
So they, re they are receiving this informations. The informations are outside. Like you tune the radio, as per the channel, you get the information. You get the sound. But sound is there. When you tune it, you get it. Like when you tune the TV, television, you get that, that pictures and everything else is there in the form of magnetic fields. The waves, in the form of waves. So you receive it and you get it. So this receiving is a tuning. This is something mystic is happening with us. We don't know how we receive. So this process is bringing the information into the cells and then the production happens. So I gave this idea to just understand the process how it happens and how the Sankhya and the Yoga theory is connected to this program. We have to do more research on this. So it will be proved when we do more research on that. And it is quite possible if we, can, we know the wavelength of our brain and the wavelength outside. Till now, they have no mission to measure the wavelength or the, uh, the energy field of the brain, how it is connected to outside energy field. So they have no mission established now. So once it is established, then this connection is very clear. Now it is very low frequency, so it is very difficult to analyze it. Only by a scanning and all those, they know EEG, no, we take the brain scanning. So with that, they know some vibrations are made and the energy field is there and everything they know. But how this communication happening, they don't know. So this is with this connection. Now, we go back to the point, the birth. Now where is the birth? Because I told all these stories. Now you tell me where is the birth? From which point you can say that is my birth? Ah, that is your birth? Information outside is always there. It cannot be birth. Huh? No, no birth we can say, the, from the beginning we were saying. Now, just think. That may be the birth. No, that is not that is not birth. It's, it's connected to mind. Now, just you think about this. In this way, if you think, because the point is the strong point we got is that you ha you are not feeling that. Your absence. You are not feeling your absence and you don't want to be absent. So this is the strong point. With this you can establish everything. This is our experience because our experience is the uh, foremost, uh, the first evidence. What is our experience? So this is our experience. Nobody can deny it. And Nobody remember when he is born or she is born. The birth is not remembered. Why? Because the brain is not active then. So up to the age of two, you are not remembering anything and you just go behind step by step like I 
a concise way uh, produce it how it can go you just think then try to identify where from where you are because if you say from uh, the date of birth date of birth is only you came out of mother's womb if you ask mother uh, oh my mother i was there before my birth or not mothers will say no you were there in my womb so now that is not the answer and you are not remembering that so you go like this and think then you will feel there is no birth only this body is made that is also because of this all the process if you know the cell uh, cell biology and this thing you cannot say other than this something is happened if you detailedly study with this concept you have to accept no other way this is what is happened in between nothing new nothing something uh, you cannot say something new is entering to the body no it is a complete process because our upanishads and everywhere it is there how it happens and no religion say that after this body the soul is not there they say after this body they go to heaven or hell according to their karmas that is what they say so no if the boy if after the body who is going what is going if nobody is there no identification nothing is there then how can you say one person is going to hell and one person is going to um, heaven how can you differentiate so just saying that is going there it means that the clear idea is we are not going with this body that is for sure we are not going with this body this body is dead and is burned or covered or whatever so who is going what is going so that is the that is our original existence that is our real existence so we are that okay so this based on this theory now there is no birth for the self and death there is no death we discussed about death before now birth is also not there not there means i am asking you if you uh, believe or not you just tell me from where you can say my birth is from here from which point you can say you cannot say because if you say one of the point you can go a again behind that and you cannot deny it because if there is no cause how the if the the cells are not produced then how the birth can happen and cells are produced and the product from where it is produced that is a cause and the effect is always based on cause before starting this point i mentioned this uh, this theory again there cannot be an effect without cause and effect cannot be devoid of cause effect is based on cause this is concomitance of cause and effect so it cannot be changed so therefore there is birth for body and birth a death for body the physical birth and physical death even our mind is not taking birth and even our mind is not dying as well this mind is chitta the chitta is 
with the samskaras and that is we can say now as energy fields it connected to quantum and if that is there the mind is there in the form of seed in the form of potent uh, potencies and that is why the mind is not dying your chitta is not dying so whatever you practiced in the mind also is not dying you will carry it forever shifting one body to another body at last when you achieve the purpose because the first point is all functions all movements takes place based on purpose so when you ultimately achieve the purpose the cycle is completed you completed the purpose that is when when you have the knowledge that i am different from this prakriti viveka khyati so you are alone with that so here we don't separate consciousness from this field the consciousness is also there with field because consciousness as we say is chetana it is coming after reflection otherwise it is pure in the form of potency the essence of all manifestation this we already discussed in the first chapter itself okay so now we take the paper what we have is already 8:30 so here the next point will be uh, because in this we, we go out of time we cannot remember what is happening so uh the next point is now regarding our sadhana our actions and the impressions made out of our actions as the after effect of the actions and the relation between our self and body sometimes no we are not liking our body we are thinking about something better so it means we are invited into this body now we accepted it and living there like uh, when you go to an ashram they give a room so you enter to the room and see the facilities there sometimes okay you think this is good and sometimes say no these facilities are not sufficient i need more facilities so this insufficiency feeling is there with your body also am i right sometimes it is there not always it means some from somewhere you entered into this body now you are carrying it because now we cannot avoid you are bound to it so this is also another point so that we will discuss that so this feeling this uh, disconnection of this body uh gives another information that you have already planned everything and now with that plan you are acting in this body and you have some freedom to change it 
make a new uh, information, a new uh, impressions made. Whatever way we want to change, you can change. Like you enter to the body, uh, enter, enter to the room, and you change the furniture there according to your convenience. You may change the chair and table and the bed and here and there. So people make so much noise when they enter to the room to change all these things. So, so, so something like this. So we have, you have some freedom to change. So now how much freedom you have? And how you can make new karmas? New uh, informations. So the, we will discuss that. And where the change is not possible. And which terms and conditions it is not possible. And which terms and conditions it is possible. So where it is not possible, we say that is prarabdha. And where it is possible, we say it is free will. And this is connected to our actions. So now we understood there is no birth. Now we believe there is no death. In between the process is happening. So now we are based on this body. Now this body and mind and elements are important to make new information feed it into feed it into the main uh, collection deposit. So you can make new information and deposit there. Then that will be useful for nest, nest body. You will get better room. Okay. So we'll talk about this. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudaschyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om